MySQL syntax. The syntax for MySQL is fairly simple once we know how to break it apart. We're going to learn how to input a SQL command into the SQL command line, and we're going to learn how to do it through PHP. So first, the SQL command line is not case sensitive. Because of that, a lot of web developers will use uppercase letters to help separate their queries. On that note, a query is an action that we take in our database. If we look something up, that's a query. If we delete an entry, that's a query too. The SQL syntax looks pretty plain and can look a little difficult at first. So what we're looking at with this one here is actually pretty simple. But if you don't know what you're looking at, it can be a little bit complex because, well, we're used to using quotation marks, semicolons, things like that. What this one says is select everything from our table name. So to break this down, the select is the action that we're taking. We can insert, we can delete, etc., etc. The asterisk is what we want to select, or the uh, the column names from this table. The asterisk is the wild card. It means anything. So so far, we have select anything from is pointing our selection in the right direction. It's the supporting keyword for the action. So if we were to insert something, we wouldn't want to say insert anything from. It would be different. But this says select anything from. So right now it's making a sentence. It's starting to make sense. Then we have custom table. And this is the table that we want to select any information from. And as for tables and rows and columns and stuff, we're going to learn about that next. So you don't need to sweat it when it comes to not understanding what a table is. So just looking at the syntax, this creates a sentence for us. This says, select anything from custom table. That being said, you can pretty much look at any query through SQL and know exactly what it's trying to say by reading it out loud. Now, a PHP query is pretty much the same thing as an SQL query. The only difference is we use a function. For this, we use MySQLI query function. So where mysqli underscore query is the function name, we have to specify our link and our query. The link is linked to the database and we use that variable that's assigned to mysqli connect and we're going to touch on that when we get into how to connect to our database after we've made one. And a query is a string that we want to query. So again don't worry about the link just yet. We haven't connected to a database so this code right now is still harmless. The worst it's going to do is throw you an error. Scrolling back up here, we see select all from table. This was our SQL query. This is exactly what we wanted to do in PHP. We can write the same thing, just like that. Basically, we would copy it from SQL and put it into PHP. The only difference is PHP requires a little more code, whereas we have a variable here. We have the query, database connection link, and then what we want to query. Also notice that we have or die mysqli underscore connect underscore error with parentheses. So we know what the or die thing will do. Or die means if this fails, if this cannot work out for any reason, we want mysql to tell us the error so that we can figure out what's wrong with it and fix it. So for our finishing notes, just as a demonstration to show you how similar these are, we have the mysql syntax or I guess the actual query here. And then we have the PHP MySQL syntax. So this matches up here. And uh, actually what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna delete that and just drag it down there. And it looks exactly the same. That's because it is exactly the same. Our SQL syntax can literally be copied and pasted into our PHP MySQL syntax. They're pretty much the same. The only difference is that PHP needs a link to the database and the query for MySQL doesn't need to because we're going to be injecting it directly into the database. We'll touch on that a little bit later.